Right, so hey guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your PC SX2 emulator on your Windows PC. So it's been seven years since the last video and 55,000 views. Which is, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. That's really awesome. And a lot has changed since seven years. So I'm going to teach you an in-depth tutorial, but it will be in a serious form. So in this video, I'm just going to teach you on how to set up the basics. And moving on, we'll get more in depth, and I'll teach you on how to get the most from your PC SX2 emulator. So let's get started, shall we? So, what you can do is you can open your browser first of all, search for PC SX2. The link for this um, website will be in the description below, so you can just go click it. Okay, so we are just going to click on latest table and download the installer. Okay, give it a sec, it should download. Okay, so once it's downloaded, it's going to open it. Click on yes. And I'm going to just going to choose standard installation. You can change the file location. I'm just going to click on next, next, create a desktop shortcut, next, install. And let it install. Okay. So um, while it installs, you want to get the BIOS file. So the BIOS file is pretty hard to get and most of the websites that you get it from usually tends to have malware or virus. Okay, so if you want the BIOS file, you need a physical PS2 where you're going to, where you're going to have to dump the BIOS files on a USB thumb drive and then you can access the BIOS drive so it's not easy to get this, this files okay you'll get this folder you'll get a zip file where all these files will be so just extract this folder out and once this finished make sure launch pcsx2 is checked and click on finish okay so then pcsx2 should open and here you can choose the team whatever theme you want i'm not sure whether this was in the um uh, previous pcs i'm not i don't think that it was okay so this is new okay then you just click on next and then it asks for the bios directory okay you can either just uh, copy this bios file into your pcsx2 folder or you can just leave it here in your desktop i'm just going to browse and just choose from my desktop select and all of the regions should be loaded you can see there's two japan there's two europe i'm sorry there's two europe one japan and one from usa i'm just going to click on the usa and click on next okay so now it asks for iso we're going to add the isos later so we'll just skip this on next okay, yes okay so controller you can choose whatever you want okay i'm just going to choose on dualshock 2 then click on next and set up complete so we click on finish Okay, so now you should be presented with this video. Okay, so for this video, I'm just going to teach you on how to add in a game and uh, set up your controller. So that's all I'll be teaching this video. And for the others, we'll move on to the next video. Okay, so to change your controller settings, you're just going to go into settings right here and you're going to go into controller. Here, you can see if when you click controller port one you should have your control now you can connect any controller you want okay so you can connect um uh xbox 360 controller xbox one controller a dualshock 4 dualshock 2 dualshock 5 any controller okay so here you can see it's already mapped to your keyboard let's see keyboard up keyboard left keyboard right so the only way to um, start mapping to your controller is just by connecting your controller just click on this and then click on your controller button right there okay okay guys so um since i'm on a virtual machine okay i can't really connect my controller directly so you're just going to connect your controller and then to set up you just click on this the up button and then you click on the up button on your controller and then just click on right click on right left left down down okay 
so this is for your d-pad this is for your left analog this is for your l1 l2 r1 r2 select start l3 r3 okay for the face pattern triangle square circle cross you can just map this with your xbox controller or any other controller you have and this is your right analog so that's all once you have set up everything just click on close and your controller should be mapped okay so that's all for the controller part now for the games okay so let me just get a game in here hey guys okay so we are back so i got the need for speed underground 2 usa variant of the game right here of the ps2 game so um, don't ask me where did i get the game um there's a lot of ways to get ps2 roams and um there is a way if you if i'm if the video is still up i'm going to link it right here and right now um where i'll teach you on how to rip your ps2 games to take out only the iso file so you can play it on your computer okay okay so to uh place this uh game file what you're going to do is you're just going to go into if you've installed this on your c drive if you go into your disk pc and go into your documents folder you should have a pcsx2 folder right here so here you can paste your bios file okay and then you can go into um just right click here okay go into new go into folder and you can name it as games or roms i'm just going to name it as roms okay and then i'm just going to move the game to my roms okay once it's here it's going to close this now open back my pcsx2 right here okay and say add a game directory we're going to go into the documents navigate into the pcx2 folder and click on the folder that we just created select folder and it says would you scan yes and you can see the game has appeared and if you click this our game will be here and now double clicking it will open the game so that's all for this video guys it's a very simple tutorial on how to um, set up your pcsx2 and allow to play games on it so after this i'll teach you on how to add game covers and how to uh, make the resolution of this in 1080p instead of the square kind of thing with a very blurry graphic so i'm going to teach you on how to play it in hd okay so just watch out just stay subscribed and more videos will be coming to you soon so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching folks